Hey guys, take a minute with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to clear system data on your iPhone so that you can free up some space if you're limited on the space on your phone. And we're going to show you how to do that effectively. So first thing you want to do is, of course, go into settings. And then if you go into settings and go to general and then look at iPhone storage, you get this whole summary of your storage being utilized. As you can see on this iPhone 13 Pro, it's 128 gig and we used about 15 gigs or so. You might be at a point where you're using up all of the space and you're having issues like sending uh, photos and videos because you don't have enough storage. You might not be able to download the newest version of the iOS update. All of the issue can arise. Now, there's a couple ways to clear the storage of the system data that you'll see that we have, if you go down at the bottom, there's a system data that's taken up by things like cache, logs, and other resources uh, that are in use. Now, this value here, there's no option to just remove it here, but there's a couple things you can do to reduce that system data that is being used up so that you get at least a couple gigs, sometimes even 10 or 20 gig, depending on how long you have used the phone and what you're using it for. So first thing you want to do to clear that down is go ahead and take a look at back into the iPhone storage here. We're going to look at Safari here. In Safari, you'll notice here there's a website data. If you click on that website data, it's pretty much a data for websites that it's being uh, stored on your phone that you don't really need so you can remove that data so you can remove now and you should get some space back from just doing that so you can see we were able to get around 200 meg now you may have a lot more going on so again depending on use case you might also be using like couple hundred gigs to uh, almost a lot more so check that out while you're at it you also want to open up the safari browser itself or if you have google chrome or any other browser extension that you use and go ahead and look at the history of it so on the safari browser the history is right here we can just simply click on clear and then i'm going to click all a data so all of your data history for that is gone now that should clear up some system data now moving on to the next thing you want to look at is actually going to be around mail so in mail you also have a storage that's being used up for data and documents that you can also go ahead and clear up so you want to check that out the next thing you want to check out to clear it is going to be your messages so message is another big one so if you go into messages here you notice here it's also around system data that's impacted what you want to do is actually go in back to your settings and this time in settings what you'll look at is messages and then in messages you want to look for this ability to see how long you're keeping your message history so as you can see message history by default is forever so if you have a lot of messages especially if you're they're sending a lot of photos videos through your messages you might want to consider using keeping your messages for 30 days maybe a year to limit how much past history you have now this one's a little sensitive in terms of how you want to go about it forever if you want to keep your message forever that's fine but again do know if you do 30 days everything past 30 days it will be deleted automatically and will clear up a lot of space even one year will help a lot especially if you message and uh, do a lot of messaging on your iPhone so that's one thing to consider as well now moving on to the next thing you want to do is actually delete some apps and reinstall it one big one that we find is podcast so if you're big on podcast is that podcast itself takes up a lot of system data cache that's stored on it so that you can easily access your podcast one thing you can do is simply go ahead and remove the app of course your podcast data will still be there you can remove it and reinstall it so you can go ahead hit remove and then go back to the app store and then download it there so that you can get that app back and that should clear up caches that are on system data now moving on to the next thing you want to do is around apps so around the apps here if you go into settings again and this time we're going to go to app store you'll notice here in the app store there's a setting to offload unused apps which will automatically remove unused apps but will keep uh, their documents and data and then you can reinstall it once you are ready to use it again so this option again helps with a lot of 
storage space saving if you use this option it's off by default but you can also toggle that on and you should see improvement as well with the system data now the next thing you want to look at it's going to be again in the settings here and this time we're going to do privacy and then under privacy you notice here analytics and improvement so analytics and improvement this one is a big one i usually turn this off is that you can share data for your phone or to Apple so they can improve the product. So what happens is when they're doing data collection, there's a lot of log files that are generated and stored on the back end that you don't see that are sent to Apple. And this again is a privacy concern. As you can see, all of these, this is being saved here. We can simply turn that off. You might already have it turned off, but again, I generally prefer that off. And it's a even improves your security and privacy as well so that none of your data, of course, none of the sensitive data is sent over. But again, just to turn it off will help you in the long run. Now, after you have done all that, it's time to go ahead and give your phone a fresh start. What we mean by fresh start is doing a force restart. Force restart clears and uh, removes any sort of uh, law, any sort of issue in the background of your phone of the software minor software issues and any related issues that could be impacting your performance of your phone to do that on iphone 13 pro here or any of the newer iphones starting from iphone 8 and above you'll press and release the volume up and then volume down and then hold the side button until the screen goes completely black and the apple logo reappears so in real time we'll do volume up volume down and then i'm going to hold the side button on the right hand side I'm not going to slide to power off. It's going to want me to do that. Don't let it let it just hold on till it goes completely black and you see the Apple logo appear. Again, keep on holding it. You want to hold it until you see the Apple logo. If you slide to power off, that's just a regular turning it all on and off. So that's why we don't do that. We just hold this button until we see the phone go completely black and the Apple logo appears. If for some reason you click the button and Siri activates that means you didn't press the volume up and down quick enough so make sure you do those volume up and down it's like press release press release quick and then the side button now after you have done that the next thing you want to do is go ahead and check out any software update now this might be a little intuitive thinking why would you update the software but sometimes with the software update there's updates to fix memory leak that could happen so what do you want to go into is settings and then general software update see if there's an update there might not be an update depending on it you need to have good wi-fi connection to check that lastly if you're still seeing in your iphone storage that there's a lot of system data that's being still utilized as you can see we're about we knocked up some of it from three something to under two under around three or so so we saved a little bit not too much but again this phone wasn't used much and there wasn't using up a lot some phones use about 20 30 gig of system data so you might see a big improvement if you're a heavy user the last thing you can do is if you're still not seeing improvement you need to make sh more storage on your device it's actually going to be backing up your device to your uh, iCloud if you have iCloud or on your PC and then doing a factory reset and then restoring this phone so do that it's going to be backup and then factory reset and then restore which is explained in another video but essentially you'll back it up by connecting to itunes or on your macbook finder nowadays you'll go ahead do that and then go to general and then where you have transfer or reset iphone you'll click here and then you'll do this option again do not do this option right now because if you don't back it up if you do that it will delete everything and you won't have a way to recover that's why you back it up so you can restore after you do that and that for sure is the most effective way to clear system data it gives a phone a free start and then a restore which any sort of background data that the system has been consuming out there should clear up much better so hopefully these tips help you guys clear your system data to a manageable size and you're able to get some free space if so make sure that like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time